you lovely skating people. I hope you are all doing very well. Thanks for joining us for a, another video on the Everglides YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. Pull up a chair, make yourselves comfy, grab a seat. So I am super, super excited because we are at the beginning of our brand new series. So this series is going to be all about blades. So we are going to be covering all of those frequently asked questions about your blades on your feet. So whether you are a beginner skater, an intermediate or a high level ice skater, then this video is going to be all round perfect for you. We are gonna cover things like sharpening, different types of blades, the benefit of each blade, different radiuses, rockers, profiles, touch points, radius of hollow, side home tapering, parabolic cross cut, the lot you wait. Honestly, you're gonna absolutely love it. So we're gonna kick off today's video and today's first video of the series is going to be the radius of hollow. So everything that you guys need to know about the radius of hollow in your blades. So what is the radius of hollow? Well, despite public opinion, an ice skate blade is not like a single knife edge. An ice skate blade has in fact a hollowed out bottom with two edges. It is a hollowed out space in between these two edges that we refer to as the radius of hollow. So why is the radius of hollow so important? The radius of hollow can have a huge effect on a blade's performance. Get the radius of hollow wrong and you can completely discourage someone from the sport, no matter what level. Let's take a look at some of the main radius of hollows that there are. As you can see from this diagram, the radius of hollows run from shallow to deep. The shallower the hollow, the less grip it will provide, but the easier the blade will run, and in effect, giving the skater more speed. The deeper the hollow, the more grip it provides, but the blade tends to run slower. This is because there's more resistance in a deeper hollow. So how do you choose the right radius of hollow for you? Using the correct hollow when you are a beginner can be tricky when you have little knowledge or context of ice skating. A 9 16 or a half inch hollow is a fantastic place to start if you are a beginner. These hollows provide a great balance between grip and momentum. Intermediate to higher level figure skaters may opt for a 7 16 hollow. It's slightly deeper and provides more grip when doing bigger jumps and turns. When you are landing jumps, you do need edges to grip very well, so that's why a 7 16 hollow works all round. It also provides intermediate level figure skaters with the grip that they need to progress and perform. Now, this is great general advice. Not everyone sits in the same box. Everybody is unique and that's the beauty of this sport. It's about finding out what works best for you. Clear signs to tell that your radius of hollow isn't working well for you are. That you're not being able to last particularly long between sharpenings. Even though your blades are still sharp, you don't feel like you have enough grip. Or number two, you're going out on a fresh sharpen and you're finding that you're having to break in your sharpen for a long time before you feel comfortable. This could suggest that your hollow is too deep for you and you would benefit from going with something more shallow. If you are finding that you are not getting enough grip despite the fact that your blades have only just been freshly sharpened, then you may need to experience a slightly deeper hollow. The best thing to do is to have a little chat with your skate technician. Ask them about what radius of hollow they currently are putting into your blades and maybe try a slightly different one. The lovely thing about radius of hollows is that they can be changed. So if you do change to a shallower or deeper hollow and decide that you don't like that, you can go back to your original setting. Now that you guys have a basic understanding as to what the radius of hollow is, where it is and the effects that it has on your skating, we're now just going to address some of the few misconceptions that there are about the radius of hollow. So the radius of hollow can often be a little bit confused with a type of sharpen. Often the different types of hollows get referred to as a figure grind or a hockey grind or a figure hollow or a hockey hollow. Let me tell you something guys, right here, right now. There is no such thing as a figure hollow or a hockey hollow. There is only the different hollows that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So one inch, nine sixteenths, half inch, seven sixteenths, three eighths. If you have a half inch hollow in a figure skate, or if you have a half inch hollow in a hockey skate, this half inch hollow remains exactly the same. Another thing that we get asked often at Everglides is, can I just have a light grind? Again, the only thing that changes when you have a sharpen is the radius of hollows. 
The sharpness and the edges stay exactly the same. If you allow your skates to run blunt frequently, then you are going to find it very difficult to adapt to fresh edges, regardless of whether you have a shallow or a deep hollow. So hopefully now you guys understand what the radius of hollow is, why it is so important and the different types of hollows that there are. You should now be in a good position to be able to make a decision as to what radius of hollow you would like to have in your blades. If you are still unsure, then you can always get hold of us and ask. We'll talk you through it. We'll have a little chat about your skating and your goals of where you want to go. And we'll be able to tailor the radius of hollow for you. Like I say, not everyone is the same. And although we have spoken about a few radius of hollows today, Day, there are so many more in between. If you do have any questions and want to get hold of us, you can find all of our contact information at everglides.co.uk. That is everything about the radius of hollow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. To make sure you see the rest of the videos in the series, you can subscribe. Equally, you can follow us on Instagram at Everglides or you can like us on Facebook. For now though, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Stay safe, keep smiling and we'll speak to you soon.